Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk about using Excel like a boss. So this is an Excel spreadsheet where we have our quick access toolbar, the office button, the ribbon which was introduced since Microsoft 2007, the formula bar where we enter all of our formulas, the name box where we assign names for each of the cells that we're working on, and the sheet tabs which shows which sheet you are on like a normal uh, worksheet. And I'm going to show you how to increase our productivity. So we're going to use a simple conditional formula to determine which one is greater, apples or bananas. We're going to use if statement. So what is an if statement? It's a conditional formula which uses, which looks at your general formula and sees, gives out if the answer is true or not. We're going to see if we have apples or bananas or more. In our conditional formula, we put in the condition first. So we have the apples and bananas here. So we will put the condition first, you know either column A or column B, column A being bananas, column B being apples, which one is greater? If you put column A is greater than B, if that is true, banana is more. If that is false, then apples are more. If we have three bananas, two apples, then banana is more, obviously. But if we have three bananas and four apples, then A is not greater than true, so we get apples is more. But there is a problem, there is a very big problem, you know. This works when one is greater than the other, but what if the two values are equal? If the two values are equal, the formula will take in as the second value as always greater. So what we need in this condition is the nested if. What is the nested if? It's where the if formula is within another if formula and both of those conditions have to be satisfied to figure it out. So if banana if column A is greater than B, then banana is more. If column A is equal to B, then we have the same amount. So both of those condition, if banana A is greater than B, it's not. Then if it is equal, then we have the same amount. And it works out pretty nicely. And that's basically what we do. Let's talk about the next topic in this section here. What I'm going to talk about next is data validation. And data validation helps you out a lot when you're working in an office or administration or anything like that. What we do here is we look at a general group or pool of people or names or structures, whatever. And then we look at them and we want to make it easier that we don't have to type them every time. So what you do is we create a drop down menu in the column itself. Here let's look at make column A and we want to see if each person has bananas or apples and we want to make a drop down list of all the people that we have. So let's make a name in a separate column with all the names in it. And we type in the names of the entire pool. So when that happens, we go to our first column where we inserted a column, we put in students. Then we go to our menu bar and then we go to the data ribbon and in the data ribbon, we go to data validations. We open up the settings tab in data validation and then we go to allow. Now we're going to do allow lists and then we're going to ignore all the other blanks. So we're going to allow lists in this and we're going to press OK. Then what's going to happen, we're not going to press OK, sorry. Then the source button is going to come over there and going to put the right button. We're going to click the right button and the data validation window pops up. And when this pops up, we select the list of names that are there. And we select the name and then we again click the square box on the right side of the data validation window. By doing this, we again revert back to the previous window of data validation and then we click OK again. Now, we've selected the cell for that. Now, when we click OK, that cell will create a drop down menu of all the names that you have and we can just copy that cell all the way below and then all you have to do is just look at that and you don't have to remember the names or anything, just look at the list and select your list. Uh, now that's for this session topic of using Excel like a boss. In our next uh, chapter, if I make another video, we're going to talk about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, which is another excellent, excellent way to use Excel and it makes it so much easier for you. Thank you.